Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to Smoky Mountain RC. Guys, look what we got. Look what we got. Free wing F-16, guys. And pardon my clothes. Just got off of work. Me and jo Pilot John out here trying to come out. Uh, had a few people ask me if I'd make a video on 8S battery placements on my setup and all that, guys. So I'm going to show you guys. And you guys are talking about, you know, you want to made in flight, wondering where it is. My opinion, guys, push it all the way. These are 5200s. If you're running a 5000 to 5200, this would be fine. Either way, it doesn't really matter. But my opinion, guys, first flight, run it all the way up here to this, this little bulkhead right here. You can see them little spots. You know, when you run a 6S, your 6S goes here. But, you know, your two 8Ss, you got two little slots right there. See how they're against it? Guys, that's where I run my 25200s. I also run two 4S 6000s, and I center the 6000s in the straps, guys. As you can see, we got rain coming. I was going to try to do a demonstration on both flights on both of our things, but we may not get to it. But we might be able to get to this one. And the series connector, guys, this is what I use. As you can see, one, two going into ones. All it is, series connector. You got to make sure it says series connector. If it's parallel connector, you're just be running a 4S 11,400 or 10,400. Yeah. If you run, you know that. So you've got to make sure you have a series connector. And I also have another connector that I got from Ocean RC. I'll show you guys that on the next one. So, uh, one. yeah. But these right here is a lot better. I like these more, you know, because they're, you know. But yeah, guys, and don't worry about that strap. This strap used to be right here because it was on the 6S. I moved this strap back here. I added this strap myself, and it's not big enough to go around these. So that's why it's still in there. I just haven't took it out. But anyway, guys, as you can see, on your maiden flights, in my opinion, opinions like buttholes, everybody's got one, but my opinion, if you're running 5,000s, 5,200s, maybe in like a 54, 5,500, I would run it, push it all the way against where my fingers are, guys. You can see, you can push it up, you can't go no farther. You know, it, it's, that, it's that simple, guys. So, so about an eighth of an inch from the bulk here. Yeah, well, I got it, I got mine scooted back just a bump, but, but, uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying, guys. This plane's nose heavy anyway. It's heavy. It's nose heavy as crap. You want to video? Yeah. We're gonna let John video. You know, zooms out there. So, okay. All right, guys. We'll go ahead and do a flight right quick with these 52s before it starts to pull. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try to put the Euro fighter together. It looks like it's gonna start yeah, any second. You might get this one, maybe. But... But yeah, anyway, guys, like I said, if you're maiden, this is it going to be your maiden flight, run, fit, run the 5200s or a 5000 all the way up as far as you can get them, guys. I moved it back. I've been running 6000s, and I scooted my CG back a half inch to do high alpha, and it, everything was fine until I went to land, guys. And when I went to land, the slowdown, that thing was so unstable, and I only scooted the batteries, but that was 6000s. You know, that wasn't the 52s. But anyway, guys, we'll get up and get your flight on these 52s, and uh, we'll show you the battery, what's left. And guys, this thing is very, very efficient. Up, up, and away. But yeah, guys, I mean, in my opinion, I mean, I haven't flown the 6S. I'll switch as soon as I got it, but in my opinion, the, the 8S is way more efficient than the 6S, guys. I've yep. just been seeing people fly theirs, and I mean, I can fly my 6000s at four minutes and fly normal and land with 32, 35%, guys. At four minutes with this big heavy thing. I know you wouldn't think that, but... Have you ever told them why you changed it to this? About taxing it in the parking uh, lot? But you're finally going at it. Yeah, I, yeah, I did that when I did that one video. Yeah, I told them that, you know. And it got hot, and I just didn't want to chance it, you know. But guys, you can see, I mean... Yeah, we'll go ahead and flip it here. We'll get it this way, and we'll flip it upside down. This is how I check my CG guys. I always go upside down and look. See, it's, it's dropping big time. I'm pushing. That's half stick right there to keep it level. So that I'm actually going to tell you that's no heavy. And landing, guys, you're having not a bit of problem landing it with it like that. I know you're going to be nose heavy for your first flight, but trust me, that's what you want. If you fly it a couple of times, then start getting your batteries back, guys. Watch this, guys. We'll do this a touch and go, and I'll show you how good it, easy it comes in. See that, guys? Oh, man, I missed it. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I mean, it's, it's simple. And, uh,. I have. I also run 6200s. I do have two 4S 6200s uh, CNHL batteries I use. They are big and they are heavy. And guys, I can get four and a half minutes flight out of it flying it normal with it. And that ain't no joke. Ooh. You see that lightning? Yeah. 
All right, guys, I'm gonna do a speed pass right quick, and then we're gonna land her. And guys, I got 176 out of this thing the other day. I, it can't be right. I mean, it just can't be. But anyway, guys, I was talking, everybody's you know, worried about having enough elevator when their nose heavy like this. Watch this, guys. Watch this. I'm gonna pull them straight back. This is how much you got, look at that, guys. Even with the batteries that far up, you still got that much elevator authority. So don't worry about, you know, not having enough elevator, you know, elevator and being that high up, you know, with your batteries. So, but it's windy. I mean, I'm sure you guys can see these flags. It's got a pretty good, at least 10 mile an hour wind going, you know. But, uh, I think I was trying to run the battery out. We got a minute left, y'all. We'll try to do it. I'm trying to show y'all, you know, get a complete and a battery check for y'all, so. Well, you only talked about a minute and a half, and we're at six minute video almost, so. Yeah. I mean, that. Pretty good for something so big. Guys, look at a knife edge. It's dropping a little bit, but it will do it. No crap. You had something pop up on your screen. Yeah. I kind of lost it for a second. Oh, it's all right. God, that was a good one, though. I mean, yeah, guys, I mean, you got all kinds of elevators. I mean, you just, look at that. See what I mean, guys? You got all kinds. What is it? Boom! You ain't got to worry about it. It's going to be no heavy. I mean, I haven't really started scooting the battery back much because I'm still kind of learning it. Ooh, big old lightning. All right, guys, you're coming out. You're coming out. We got to try to beat this rain, guys. My F-16, which is the A-flight one, a flight is really good with the neutral CG over the wheels. Right. If you can get it there. Alright. Woo! Good save, that wind got yeah, you, bro. Yeah, plus it reverse thrust, it wasn't. <laughs> it, between the reverse thrust and the wind, it lifted me back up. <laughs> they started to push you that way, too. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty windy out, guys. Ain't no joke, it's pretty windy out. I mean... I ain't it wasn't five minutes ago though. All right, guys, let's run over here. We'll check the battery right quick. Right. Dang, you couldn't ask for no better than that. <laughs> All right, guys, we had. I'm gonna guess. Oh God. I'm gonna guess. Twenty-five percent. Maybe. Might be lower because I pushed it there at the end pretty good. So it's. But we had uh, basically four seconds left on the three minute and 20 second timer, guys. So, And as you can see, right here's what I was talking about your series connector. Ooh, boy, she is hot. God almighty. Yeah, it's hot, boy. Damn. But anyway, guys, see the series connectors, man. We'll just take them off and show you. But in comparison to his 6S one, when he just ran it across the parking lot. Oh not, yeah, it's a big difference. Not even the half of this little road here. Man, it was almost too hot to handle. But yeah, guys, right here, we see here, there's a series connector I use, and if I got bigger batteries that this won't fit in, you can get this one from Motion RC, guys. This is the one I bought from Motion RC. They have these one. I don't really recommend these myself. They work, but my opinion, go with them, guys. Why do you like the other one better? Because that solder gets hot on them ones. Yeah. Them can break loose, you know, because you got all that solder holding them loose. And these ain't really, I mean, they're soldered, but it's normal, you know. Right, okay. Guys, 25%. Dang, that was a good guess. Yeah. <laughs> and guys, I was pushing it, you know, that's three minute and 20 second timer, and I was, you know, I wasn't cutting in no slack, so. But we're anyway, at, guys, a, yeah, that's a. We're at nine minutes, and you probably talked three. So you flew it at probably four and a half minutes. And right here, guys, we'll go ahead and show you the battery placement on my 6000s right quick. We're not going to do no flight or nothing. I'm just going to set them in here and show y'all. It's all about a thumb's width from the bulkhead. Yeah. Basically, my 6000s, I center in my strap. But if you got a 6S, your straps are going to be here, so you can't, you know... Right. But eight S, you know, the straps are back here. But this is where I run my six, my six thousands, guys. And now my sixty two hundreds, I actually come back to about right here with my sixty two hundreds. So there's some big old honking batteries. Yeah, though. but you know this, I don't really recommend going over six thousand because this is a heavy plane. But anyway, guys, as you see it, I hope that helps y'all out. And uh, best way to check the CG. I mean, I go by the manual on CG, but I flip mine upside down. That's how I do all of my CG. If you flip it upside down, it nose dives, it's nose heavy. If it climbs, it's tail heavy, so. 
that's how I do mine, guys. But anyway, guys, hope that was helpful. If you guys got any more questions or know anything else, feel free to ask, guys. We'll do this another video, whatever you guys need. That's what we're here for. So until we Woo. do it again, say fine and God bless. Bye, 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 guys. All right, guys, before I forget, we'll show you some of the rates and some of the stuff. Um, I'm going to show you the rates and expo and my timer. You see I do a 3 minute and 20 second timer. And people will ask me do I do a one time timeout or, you know, one time inhibit and all that. I don't do that, guys. But I do anything over 25%. As you can see, that's what I do. Most all of my planes, that's what I do. So, um, and I'll show you my rates and expo, guys. I actually have tri rates. And to be honest with you, this is the only setting that I use, guys. I hardly ever go into mid rate or low rate. I have it. As you can see, you know, my ADA runs 145% high rate, mid rates 80 and 35% expo, low rates 65 and 25% expo. And guys, I have this all the way around. As you can see, there's the elevator 100 rates, 45% expo, 80 35, 65 25. And rudder is about the same except for the high rates. I got 50% on the rudder just to tame down the uh, ground handling on the nose wheel. That's all I do. But as you can see, 80-35, 65-25 all the way around. So every hack, every go, guys. Um, that's what everybody was wanting to know. You know, the, the uh, battery size placement, what series connectors I was using, uh, rates and expo and timer so i hope that covered it all guys and uh you guys need to know anything else let me know we'll see what we can do that's why i'm here for it if you guys need to know something and i know the answer to it i don't care one bit to help guys that's what i'm here so all right till we do it again say fine and god bless bye bye bye